it's Thursday evening and here I am again, International Master Sopika Garmishvili here for you on Chess 24. We're going to have loads of tactics today and welcome to Tactics Test. If you're new at the show and you're watching it for the first time, I'm going to explain what you should expect from the show. I'm going to use my favorite feature on Chess24, go to Tactics Trainer, use the classical one because um, the speed one which is also very good and you should definitely use it before the game and before the tournament to train your um, solving skills and tactical skills. But this time I'm going to use the classical trainer and uh, we're going to solve a lot of tactics. I for sure will need your help, so in chat, when you will see the position, you should definitely write the answer and um, write what you think. Uh, as for myself, what I'm going to do is to explain and to talk about my thoughts and the moves I'm counting, um, the moves I'm considering and foreseeing or calculating. Um, I'm going to talk about the methods of calculation and I'm also going to explain some tactical motives. Of course, if uh, the position is very hard and sometimes Chess24 does give me a lot of uh, hard times, then I definitely go to uh, the chat. Um, unfortunately, this time I don't have uh, two desktops, so I'm going to use my phone for uh, seeing your comments time to time. But please forgive me if I cannot read all of your comments. Um, I will be focusing on the um, trainer, tactics trainer, on the position and from time to time I'm going to read the comments. If you have any questions to me, please ask any type of question. I'm going to uh, try and answer you um, any kind of chess related question you're interested in or you need some advice or anything. Just uh, feel free and uh, write in the comments. Okay, so this time I'm going to uh, go to Tactics Trainer and as you know you have to uh, log in on Chess24. If you're not a premium member by the way you should definitely uh, become one because it's definitely worth of it. First of all you will have access to the video series which is the most amazing thing on Chess24. There are loads of grandmasters and international masters and loads of people from who you can really learn. Um, we cover loads of um, openings, uh, strategical ideas, positional ideas, tactical skills. So there you can really find lots of things, starting from openings, um, in middle games and end games, all is covered in the video series. And if you're a premium member, you have access to all of them. So you don't have to pay uh, one by one separately, but you can uh, simply have access to all of them. So I strongly recommend you to uh, become a premium member. You can um, participate in Banter Blitz shows. You can have a chance to play against me, against the most amazing grandmasters in the world, like Jan Gustafsson, Peter Swidler, and you will have the chance to play against them. So please uh, <laughs> um, take it into consideration and um, become a premium member. Okay, so uh, I'll go now on Chess24 and um, I will uh, try to solve the tactics. So I'm pushing the learn tab and afterwards going to tactics trainer, starting the classical tactics trainer and there we go. We have the very first position and uh, it is white to move. Black's last move was queen c8. So when I first look at the position, I um, 
some moves does immediately come to my mind. Um, in this position, like um, Queen H3 comes to my mind right away, but I don't really think it's the right move, or maybe it is because after Queen H3 there is King G8, Knight F6, G takes F6, leads to mate after uh, queen h7 and queen f7 and after king f8 there is queen h8 mate so yeah here i did not need any calculate uh, calculation uh, in sense of candidate moves because uh the first the very first thing that came to my mind was the right move um i don't recommend that you um you try to have candidate moves in all positions and in all moves because for example in this one um, you really have to calculate um, instantly the line it is check 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 and mate so this one was easy let's go to another one and again white's move again some problems with black king and um, what can i say I see that uh, black has a lot of extra pawns, but it's not uh, really important because the king is very weak. What can be the candidate moves? Rook h6, which is uh, first line, um, knight g5, which I don't think makes any sense, but still. Um, and, um, and that's it, I guess. Now, how can I use it? If, let's say, rook h6, king h6 and rook h1 is into white's favor, knight h5 should be played and after knight h5, I think I can even take rook h5, g takes h5, air g5, if f takes g5, f takes g5, queen, king g6, then bishop h5, king h5, queen h7 is mate. Um, otherwise, um, let's say rook h6, king g8. There is a move, of course, like king g8. But then I would just take on uh, g6. And um, yeah, it's completely winning. So I guess this is the right move and rook h5, g5, take, take, bishop h5 and queen h7. Nice! That's really nice. I don't think that this position needs any kind of explanation because it all went very, it was very forcing line. So after rook h6, all what I was adding was that king could go on g8. But after rook g6, uh, white is completely winning. Okay, let's get to another one and still problems with black king. Mm, extra piece for black, so it means that white... Oh, queen h7 and knight e8. This should be the solution here. Though he can go king h5. So the first move that came to my mind was queen h7. Uh, rook h7 is, of course, understandably wrong because after knight e8, then black loses the queen and white will have extra exchange, which means white is winning. But um, after queen h7, black can go king f8. And I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned about that. Um, if I try to take, let's say, I think it, it's better to take bishop g6, hg6, and then queen h7, because then uh, king f8 would be very bad move due to king queen h8. Um, I think, no. Hmm. Still queen h7. King f8, knight e8 rook h7 and knight c7 huh I do believe 
that this move is not that bad <laughs> because my idea was that I still win the um, yeah okay maybe maybe not because uh, after G H oh I'm sorry H G Queen H seven Rook H seven Knight E eight let's say King goes and I get to the Knight get the Queen but then Black has very good pawn structure and um, X White has extra exchange but Black would have some compensation for it though I think that um, yeah maybe my my, my Knight would have. Um, a bit of problems to somehow come out but d5 is there anyway yeah if queen h7 wins after king of fate uh, there is knight e8 which i didn't consider and that was uh, really a mistake um rook h7 and knight c7 it uh, turned out to be the same if uh, black took on h7 and then we would have double attack Okay, very clear. Uh, that's why we have to be very uh, sharp and alert and uh, it's very good to always calculate till the end. So my mistake in this position was that um, I saw Queen H7. This was my, oh, sorry. This was my first intention, but um, I saw that after uh, Rook H7, Knight E8 wins. But my problem was that after King of Fate, my mind was blocked um, and another move came to my mind which was bishop g6 and i thought yeah maybe this is the idea of the um position that first i have to take the knight and then uh queen h7 but no when you see something and you think that okay he has king f8 here but still what what i can do uh, you should definitely calculate and um, learn on my mistakes. Don't uh, make same mistakes that I do. That's why we have this session so that you learn on my mistakes and you also participate in solving the tactics. All right, let's go to the next one. And Black's last move was Bishop B2. Okay. First move that comes to mind is knight f7. Um, somehow bishop d4 comes to my mind, but this is completely ridiculous move uh, because it just uh, it just loses the um, the piece for nothing. Um, knight f5 is there, and um, yeah, I think. The move, most sensible move is knight f7 and uh, after knight f7, king f7, queen h7, this should be very, very winning and if not, uh, if he doesn't take, let's say he plays queen somewhere on f6, then um, Queen h6 is there, knight g5 is there, yeah, I, I just think that this is, this is the solution and white should be winning. Okay, this is mate. Let's continue. In five minutes I'm going to check the chat um, and... Um, try to see what you guys were thinking about the positions if it was uh, correct or not correct and if you have any questions I'm going to answer it so please do ask me the questions um, if you have any and I'll try to reply okay uh, Queen e5 first move uh, Queen f4 another move um, Mm, that's it more or less let's say um, rook e8 doesn't make any sense queen g7 doesn't make any sense um, yeah if queen e5 the only move is king a7 um, let's say queen e5 king a7 because king a8 loses to rook e8 King c8 loses to queen c7 mate, and after uh, queen 
after let's say king a7 queen c7 um, queen b8 the only move queen b6 king a8 I don't see how how can I win interesting very interesting there should be some little minor difference in uh, queen e5 and queen f4 the problem is that after queen e5 king a7 queen c7 queen b8 i cannot take on c6 because then queen g3 would lead to mate but for white and not for black um, so that's why um, I don't really like queen c7 queen b8 but feels like this should be the correct solution though I'm really 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 not sure um, Okay, maybe queen e5, king a7, and b5. The idea is to play b6, so if a b, then queen c7, queen b8, and queen a5 mate, and if c takes b5, then c6. Yeah, this should be, this definitely should be the, the solution. Cool! <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, I was struggling to find the correct um, move because first line that came to my mind and I think it's very logical that um, first things come like check check you always have to uh, look for very simple checks not to miss anything so after queen e5, king a7, um, queen c7 didn't work because of queen b8 and queen b6 did not give any um, any chance to win because of the g3 pawn hanging so after b5 uh, it is completely uh, obvious that b6 is uh, the um, threat and then rook e8 so uh, either a b or c b c b loses to c6 and a b lost oh sorry a b lost like this queen b8 and queen a5 very very cool let's see one more queen d1 so probably black took the white queen on d1 and now it is white's turn to punish him for that um, so the bishop on g3 is very cool and I guess uh, we have to use that. Rook c8 comes to mind because uh, if king c8 there is very beautiful mate on b6 and um, if not, if king a7, bishop b8, king a8 and knight b6. This is beautiful. This is really nice. Yeah, probably doesn't need any um, explanation because after rook c8, king c8 would be mate to king b7. Oh, sorry, knight b6. And after king a7, bishop b8 and knight b6 is indeed very, very beautiful mate. Let me look through the chat and see if you have any questions. If you did not ask but you have any, don't feel, uh, just feel free and ask. Uh, I also want to ask you which uh, tactic you found uh, the most difficult so far, which was the most difficult for you to solve. Um, the first thing that I see is that board is cut off. I'm really sorry for that, uh, that you couldn't see the 8th rank. So I'm going to um, <laughs> adjust it for the next time. 
Um, and um, Big Tall is saying that he challenged me, but I guess he um, he's mixing that today we have tactics uh, trainer and tactics test, not the banter blitz. So you gonna you have to challenge me on next Thursday, where when we gonna have banter blitz. Um, I guess there are no more questions. If you have any, just ask, and I will try to. I'll try just to adjust the board and continue tactics train trainer. Okay. to work. I hope it's fine now and everything is seen. Um, the 8th rank, the board is cool, so uh, from time to time I'm going to um, look how it is going and I apologize if you didn't see the 8th rank from uh, the uh, previous tactics, but I'll try to improve on that. Okay, um, Bishop h7 is Black's last move and Queen H7 the first the very first move that comes to my mind Queen H7 King H7 uh, G6 King H8 G7 King H7 Knight F6 King H6 G8 knight, knight or not? G8 knight, then he goes king G5. Um, G8 knight, king G5, and I don't see the mate, and that's very bad. <laughs> That I don't see the mate. Another um, move there can be g5, and after g5, king g5, g8, queen. Uh, he cannot go on uh, h4 because queen g4 mate. He cannot go on h6 because there should be some kind of uh, mate like queen g7. Uh, what about king f? Five also should be mate. Um, let's say queen g4, king e5, queen uh, e6, king d4. Oh, tough. I have to take one or two minutes to calculate this properly, and then it's going to have sweet ending because that's going to be the solution. So queen h7, king h7, this is the line that I'm calculating. Queen h7, king h7, g6, king h8, g7, queen, king h7, knight f6, king h6, g5. King g5, g8, queen, and king f4 or king f5. Um, and uh, I think queen g4, king e4. Five. Queen e4 is not possible. Queen e6 can be played or knight d7. Okay, queen e4 is actually possible. Why not? Uh, queen e4. I'd like to get the fork and win, uh, <coughs> win the black queen, but. Uh, how it is possible? I cannot see for the moment. Queen e6, king d4. Queen d6, then king c4. Ah, queen d5, king c3, and knight e4. 
that should be the solution. Let's see. So g5 here, g8 queen. Huh? No. g5, king, g5, 94. Oh, too bad. Too bad. This was so easy. <laughs> yeah, another obvious, um, very, very obvious mistake, what I did is that sometimes there are moves and you're calculating it as um, like automatically so it's like let's say e4 e5 if you're going to play if you're playing e5 you're just like e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 and uh, it just automatically and um, sometimes on uh, let's say pawn end games also uh, there are automatic calculation um, if we have uh, pawns, then it's like, I go, you go, I go, you go, I go, you go. So this is what happened uh, to me right now after g5. I did not even think for a second. Uh, I thought that, okay, I played g5 because uh, g8 was not working. And after g5, g8 works with the check. Uh, so that's why I got banished. But I still think that I found the... Um, winning um, continuation there though I might not be so lucky in another games and when you miss the chance you might not have the chance to win the game again so what is the tip of the day is that um, after every move just just stop for a second and uh, don't calculate automatically just take a look at the board and see if you have any other moves. And it just takes really just one second, not more. So um, I strongly advise you not to uh, calculate automatically, not to do like bum, 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 bum. But um, after every move, like, okay, G8 here, or maybe I have something else. Uh, I know it's very difficult in uh, the uh, live game uh, and in practical game, but if we uh, make it as a habit, then our mind will uh, calculate this way very uh, this way uh, just automatically, and uh, it's going to be much better for us, and it will save us a lot of points believe me that's also what I'm saying to myself but still I don't manage it so it's quite difficult uh, but I'm trying I'm trying to do that um, so um, instead of knight e4 what I calculated was g8 and uh, I thought that, okay, he cannot go king h6 uh, because queen g6 made, he cannot go king uh, h4 because queen g4 made, and uh, there were just two moves, which was king g4 or king f4, which king uh, f5 or king f4, which did not make any difference because after queen g4 there is only move queen e5, and... Uh, Queen e6, and I was thinking that, oh, yeah, after queen e6, he should go king d4, and after queen d5, king c3, knight e4, I was winning the queen. But now I see that after queen f4, king g4, king f4, king g4, queen e5, and king, king e5, and queen e6, king can go back to f4. And there... I don't know how can I win. It's, I mean, probably might be anyway winning, but complicated. So it uh, might not be even winning. And this is, uh, this is the fact that I missed the chance to win the game. Continuing to solve the tactics, and we have another position with. Uh, 
a lot of complications. What happens on the king side? Bishop e7 was black's last move, and uh, what can white play here? It would be awesome if the pawn was not on e4, so that my uh, bishop on c2 is open. Rook f7 here is uh, the, I think, very common tactical motive. Um, so after, let's say, bishop, um, sorry, rook f7, king f7, king, uh, queen h7, king e6 is the only move, queen g6, king d7, queen f5, king d8, and where is mate? I don't see mate. This is bad that I don't see mate. That's why I wanted to play e5. If there was e5, d e5, rook f7 would work perfectly. Hmm. Very interesting. Rook f7 or e5? e5, bishop f6, bishop f6, queen h6. It looks winning, but I'm not sure this is the solution. I really think that after rook f7, king f7, Queen h7, king e6, there should be something like e5. Is it possible? e5, bishop g5 is not possible. I don't know. Oops, sorry. Looks like winning and e5. Yay! e5 is the move. <laughs> um, yeah, bishop f5 here, gf queen f5, or just rook d6. Rook d6 also wins. Yeah, this is the moment when I'm like, everything is winning, I like everything, I, and I cannot decide uh, which move to to make. I like bishop f5, g f5, queen f5, king d8, and e d, or rook d6, anything completely winning. Um, I like... I like also e d6 here or rook d6 everything is winning I think most simple is this yeah nice okay let's continue queen a5 Queen c7 or rook c7? If not queen a5, um, then what? Let's see, queen a5, queen c7, queen a5, queen c7, queen d5, bishop d7 or rook d7 or... Ooh. Sorry. Or what? Rook d7, there can be also annoying um, check on g5. If the queen was not on c4, then uh, for sure queen a5 would win. Rook c7 and uh, bishop g5. So after queen a5, queen c7 is the only move. Queen d5. Uh, 
bishop d7 is there. I don't know. I don't think that queen d5 is the right move. Also not bishop g5 because my bishop is hanging on a4 so I think that queen a5 is the move and after queen c7 there should be something that um, for example rook b6 looks very very interesting with the idea of um, rook d6 but then bishop f5 rook d6 kick c7 that's not the solution. Hmm. Bishop d2 I can play of course with the idea of rook c1 but I think it's very slow, it's just super slow. So I wouldn't gonna do that interesting what I don't see here Queen d5 I don't really like Queen d5 because then Bishop d7 I don't see how can I continue Queen a8, bishop c8 even, or queen c8, okay, rook b8 is there, but bishop c8, and what does it give me that the queen is on a8 and not on a5? This is tough. I think I would still go rook b6 and if bishop f5, rook b8, bishop c8 and then queen d5. So, no. Something very easy I missed. Bishop d5, bishop, queen d5, bishop d7. Just so simple. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice, but quite hard. <laughs> Bishop g5. This is the problem because I think that I was trying to find something which was winning uh, by force. And sometimes there are such moves that, okay, it's not like uh, take, take and win the material or give mate. But if you look at the position, it's like completely winning. So um, these kind of moves and to practice these skills is very important because after bishop g5, if you look at the position, it looks disaster for uh, black. Black has an exchange, but the king is terrible. There is a pin. And as you could see, um, after rook f5 or f8, any move actually, rook e8 or um, maybe king e8 was better because rook f8 really shows that this is just nice mate but probably it's not the best move and king e8 should be played but um, in any case I think after even after King e8, I can take on e7, king e7, I can take on d7 and then rook b7 will be there. So it doesn't help. It really doesn't help. Cool. Okay, next puzzle. Queen c4 and king h8. This was the last move. Queen f7 comes to mind. Um, rook f7, knight f7. King 
H wait Queen F7 Rook F7 Knight F7 King G8 Knight D8 Bishop H6 I have an exchange that's good that's good news so Queen F7 is the move oh he just went okay Queen F6 I can take here I guess and Knight of Seven Mate. That's beautiful. Let's continue. Something, something will happen here. So I think that Black will lose the Rook. And how? Maybe Queen F5 just? Yeah, nice. Queen F5 is an easy move because after Rook H6, Black loses the Queen on F7 and Rook F5 uh, is not possible uh, because it's pinned and otherwise White takes Rook F6 or Queen F6. Next move. Um, was queen d3 in this position and d7 does it work d7 rook d8 The problem for black here is also that um, after somehow bishop h6, not now of course, um, black has problem on g7. So if I go let's say d7, rook d8 is the only move and queen f6, queen d7, bishop h6, queen d4. This is what I don't like that he can play queen d4. That's why I have to be smart and play something else. which can be tough to play. d7 looks like an obvious move, but after rook d8, I don't see how can I use it. Moves like queen h4 doesn't make any sense. Rook d1 also looks ugly. What can I play? d7, rook d8, queen f6, queen d7. Bishop d4 doesn't work. Bishop h6, queen d4, there is no rook d1. Nothing is there. Nothing that I could use. Dislike it. <laughs> Dislike that no idea comes to my mind for this moment. I 
I have a feeling it's very easy and you guys already see the solution and what I'm gonna do now is take the help of yours and uh, discuss with you what are you thinking in this position so let's see let's see what do you think Somebody solved this already or not? My phone refuses to work, so it's really the sign that I should just think all possible motives, uh, candidate moves and lines that are in this position. Okay, there we go. It works. Queen d3 is uh, one. Suggestion d7, queen f6, and bishop h6 is another, but I didn't like that. He has queen d4 there. Rook d1 is another suggestion. Queen f6 right away is also possible they say queen a7 d7 rook d8 queen f6 Boom. d7 or queen f6 okay queen f6 is the move which i did not um, consider well i considered but i didn't say it out loud which means that after queen f6 i was thinking that he has i just couldn't believe this i think he has rookie six this is what i disliked rookie six queen d8 king g7 then this i don't like They say that d7, rook d8, queen f6, queen d7, bishop h6 uh, might be the right solution, but I don't, uh, I have no idea what can I do on, I see, bishop g5 first, and then bishop h6, is it possible? So my idea is to play d7, rook d8, queen f6, if queen d7, I play bishop g5, and rook goes, and then bishop h6, but this looks too smart for the position, <laughs> he can take rook d7 instead of uh, queen d7, and then, what, what can I do? But then I can play, I can play bishop h6, queen d4 and rook e1. Then I can do this. I think, I think I found the solution. Let's see. Queen f6, queen d7, bishop g5 first. Yes. And then bishop h6. Nice. Oh, or g4 was also winning. How does g4 win if I go bishop e4? Okay, maybe bishop g5 once again. But bishop g5, the idea is very nice. After bishop g5, rook goes somewhere and uh, queen doesn't have any anywhere to go. And after d7, rook d8, queen f6. If rook d7, then bishop h6, queen d4, and rook e8, rook e1. Queen f6 is not possible because of rook e8 mate. And if rook d8, then queen d4 wins the queen. Cool. Okay. Another tricky position. 
which needs a lot of calculation. King h8, last move. Knight g4, knight g6, sorry, one possible line, rook d7 another, I don't know why rook d7, but let's say it's possible. Queen h6 doesn't give me anything, unfortunately. Bishop f7 is also there. Okay, this is tough. Lots of moves. Lots of moves in this position. Knight g6 or maybe maybe rook g6 also possible. Rook g6 if obviously I want to take on h6 g takes h6 and queen h6, mate. If f takes g6, knight g6, king, g, king h7, knight f8, and then knight d7, I win the bishop. So, no. One square, <laughs> different. Why he do not like my rook g6? What was wrong with rook g6? Rook h6 is the threat. I don't see the defense of rook h6. Uh, maybe just king h7? Hmm. This looks bad if it's just king h7. But I thought Rook h6, g takes h6, bishop d3. That would not work. Pt. Rook g6 was very attractive to me, but rook g7 uh, wins right away because on king g7, then uh, rook g1, king h7, bishop d3 f5, not so easy. Why rook g7 and king g7 is not the move? Hmm. Rook g7, king g7, rook g1, king h7. And what? This is really confusing. Rook g7, king g7, do I miss something? Something very easy. Or... I don't know what happens. Do you guys see what happens on king g7? I'm asking you that, so I'm going to search the answers in the chat. Bishop d3 after king h7. So, uh, Karsten 1, 2, 4. Do you mean that rook g7, king g7, rook g1, king h7, bishop d3, um, f5? f5 and rook, ah, and rook g6. Maybe that's the point. 
rook g6 and black cannot do anything on queen h6. Ooh, this is tough. This is really tough. But once again, here we have to... Ooh, <laughs> I just dropped the uh, source of uh, my solutions, uh, which was um, you guys, so I could read the commands. Um, anyway, um, this is once again the position where you have to think once uh, uh, more and ahead with one more move. What I mean with uh, with that is that after king g7, rook g1, king h7, bishop d3 and f5, I stopped um, my calculation because I thought, okay, what can be here? But when I was forced to see this uh, position again, then I saw rook g6 might be there winning uh, on the spot because uh, after that queen h6 is unavoidable and it is mate. So after um, rook g7, king g7, I think that chest 24 had to cover this <laughs> solution because uh, king g7 is most uh, logical first move that comes to mind. Um, queen b6, then for sure rook g6, which is very beautiful move, but a lot of things were winning, like rook g3 or uh, rook gg1 or rook f7 or rook g5 all moves just queen b6 and rook g6 is there very nice and very beautiful let's see the last tactic which i'm going to solve uh today for today and my torture to solve tactics for one hour will be finished um uh, and and I hope that I'm gonna um, end this tactic show with happy solution of this position. King e5, last move. Okay, two knights for the rook. Generally, it's very good, but when it is end game, I'm always afraid. Though. Here it seems that the king is not doing very well on e5 and uh, maybe it is possible to win the rook. Um, how can I win the rook? Knight e8 is the move that I'm considering because after knight e8 uh, black king will be in real danger uh, rook c8 knight c7 mate rook on b7 then knight c6 mate so I think that's the move oh it's not, it's not mate actually but I'm winning the rook And it's nice that he couldn't go anywhere that um, he could hide. For example, rook b7, knight c6, uh, king e4, still knight d6 is there. Rook a7, knight c6 is right away. Rook c5, just knight d7. Rook c4, same knight d7 and knight d6. And um, other, like, uh, let's say, rook h7 then knight c6 and knight f6 is the fork. Ooh, this was really very, very beautiful. And I did not even realize that I was not giving the mate, but I was just uh, winning the rook. Probably I got very tired <laughs> solving tactics for an hour, but I hope that you enjoyed the show and you learned something from it. Uh, you definitely sh should learn on my mistakes and not repeat it in your game and you definitely should go on tactics uh, trainer on daily basis and solve at least 10, 20 tactics, let's say 5 minutes a day in um, um, for the chess uh, tactics. What I mean um, with solving is that you will be sharp, you will be alert, it will um, 
improve your tactical skills and you just you will feel much more better so I highly recommend that you go on Chess24 uh, go to tactics trainer and solve the tactics on a daily basis I wish you very very nice evening um, we will have I'll be back on next Thursday with banter please and then you can challenge me and I will ex accept <laughs> uh, premium members to play five minute blitz games with me and we're gonna have a lot of fun have a good night bye bye